guys, Tori Box here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the flamingo. The flamingo is just really the direct next step from the leg over cross, the toad, because really we're just changing one arm placement, one arm position, and it's a little bit funky of a move, but that's why I love it so much is because it's a really nice challenge to go into, especially if you've just mastered those toads or want to try something really new. So let's jump right into the flamingo tutorial. Woo. So I said this for the EV Toad, I'll say it for the Flamingo as well. As you start to expand your leg cross repertoire, you get into more advanced leg crossing skills, I would encourage you to come into long handles with that PVC cord. It's not absolutely necessary. You can use beta ropes, you can use short handle ropes for sure. These are just my preference because it gives you a bit more reach, it gives you a bit more control in my opinion. So I'm gonna be always kind of doing these skills as much as possible with long handles. Now the thing with the Flamingo is it's really not that much different from the toad in concept. So we have the toad here, that leg over cross position. All that changes on the flamingo is that the top arm just lifts kind of above our head as much as possible. A lot of times people are kind of in this position or above the head, maybe even slightly behind the head is kind of funky as well. But of course that gets into now a flexibility thing. So as long as the arm is kind of lifted directly up and you're in this position, that is the flamingo. But of course, that's not the easiest position with that top arm. It's a little bit funky, it's a little bit awkward. And as you can see, here's the leg over cross. My top arm lifting up, lifts up the rope. So sometimes you end up warping the position a bit to do that, or you might need a longer rope. I would not encourage you to lengthen your rope just for this skill. I want you to try to adjust with what you have so you're able to kind of do it whenever you do have whatever rope that you have. But um, that is kind of what makes the skill complicated. So we're really focusing on that top arm and how it's gonna go into the position. So I want you to place both of your handles in your right hand and we're just gonna practice that top arm swing. All it is, it's a swing in and a swing out. It's a little funky coming over your head like that because no longer are we going from top to bottom across our hips, which is something I've taught so much on all of these crossing, all of these EB skills. We're now coming up and crossing over the head. So we're not worried about coming down our hips. We're still going from up to down, but we're just finishing now kind of in this position. And of course the goal is to have the rope swing as parallel to your body on the other side as possible. So I have it coming up, over and back, over and back. So your arms are gonna come straight up, kind of fold at your elbow, directly down and you can see my palm is now facing the front so I've turned my hand to make that a lot easier. I'm not kind of fighting that by rotating my wrist or anything like that. I'm keeping my arm very relaxed and bent over my head and that is kind of position that you want to take over and open and that's really it. That is what that top arm is going to do as much as possible. The hard part then of course is putting it everything else together. Just like the toad we're going to take that position swinging so our rope is behind us. I'm going to lift up my right leg which means that my left arm is coming under, my right arm is coming over top and all together now we take this position. And like I said, our goal on these swings is to try to have that rope get caught under our bottom toe because if that happens, we know we're gonna be able to clear the rope. If we're just getting this position, I'm hitting my shin, that's gonna be a much harder jump to take. I'm gonna have to jump really high and you could, you know, if you don't lift your leg, Big, uh, high enough you're just going to trip on the rope. So we want to make sure that we're getting in this position and we're catching that rope under our bottom toe or at least hitting the bottom toe if you're not quite great at those catches yet. So take the position, swing, and really the arm is staying kind of behind me. I feel like I'm not doing much until I'm in the position because I'm not giving a lot of momentum or control forward on the rope. I'm swinging it here and over and that's really that arm swing. Once that's feeling good, you're able to catch it kind of under your toe, that's when you want to take your jump. So swing in, jump, just like the toad, our exit is exactly the same. We wait till it crosses over the foot, or actually it crosses on the side of the foot. We've already opened our top arm, and now we're ready to jump out of it. Of course, same thing applies on the toad. I said, make sure that you aren't ever hopping on that front foot, because that's how we develop a bad technique and get that back foot caught. Same thing on the flamingo. We go in, and we come out landing back exactly where we started. Once that's feeling good on the right side, handles go into the left, same thing. Approach that swing, 
folding the arm over. Try to get the rope parallel on the other side of your body. Boom. Boom. And then all the same progression applies here. You open up, we're gonna go into the toad. Now our left leg's coming up, right arm is crossing under, left arm over top. Work on catching it, oops. <laughs> Work on catching it in that toe position. Boom. And boom. I know for sure there's always kind of one side that feels, especially if you've, this feels a little bit weaker, especially if you've mastered one side of the toad more than the other. Same thing on the flamingo. One side can often feel a bit funkier, a little sideways, and that's the left side for me right now. But we're gonna swing into it and then jump over it, and then the same rules apply, right? Here, open that top arm. When that top arm opens, our rope is now kind of in this position where we can jump over it and bring our feet together. And there you have the flamingo on both sides. It's really a fun skill, a little bit funky. So, you know, I don't always use the flamingo so much, but sometimes when I remember it, I'm like, flamingo, that's a pretty cool skill. And come out of it. So it's a little bit funky of a skill, but I love the creativity that comes with jump rope and how we can make a skill like this happen. So have fun with that flamingo. Thank you guys so much for watching and learning the flamingo here with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, drop a comment on the flamingo and any other skill that you wanna see here. And until next time, happy jumping guys, woo! Presented by Brooks Running.